Hello! My name is Spanky the Wolf. You can call me Spanky, or just Spank for short. Or Sir, if you like. Welcome to my stream. Today I'm going to be streaming The Sims 2. I'm going to be streaming the very first episode of my back series. So what does back stand for? It's Build a City Challenge. It's a very nerdy, in-depth Sims 2 challenge where we're basically going to build an entire neighborhood from scratch using the tax dollars that we extract. We are the state in the scenario. Using the tax dollars that we extract from the Sims. So it's kind of like socialism. Uh, but it's gonna be a lot more glamorous. Okay, let's get into it because there's a lot of rules and stuff to get through. So the, the gameplay style I'm gonna be going for is gonna be broadly wants-based, so I'm gonna be trying to follow what my Sims want, but also, I mean, sometimes Sims want the wrong things because they're stupid bitches. So in those cases, I'm gonna, you know, make them do what I want them to do. Seven day rotational play style. So I'll be, set, I'll be playing with one family for seven days and then moving on to the next and trying to rotate through the whole neighborhood that way. And no aspiration rewards can be used. So the first time I did a back and I've done like one back and I didn't even finish it, but you know, classic me. Um, I was like, I had a requirement that you have to unlock aspiration rewards. So I played for a while without them. And I just realized I prefer playing the game that way. Aspiration rewards, like Sims 2 is already like a really easy game. And obviously it's not a game that people are paying for the challenge, right? But it's very simple. Like it's very easy to get like snapdragons and things that just make you so like overpowered and wealthy. So I decided, you know what? Like when I play with aspiration rewards, I just spend the whole time spamming that mood boosting item and it makes the gameplay a bit more boring so we're not going to use aspiration rewards so we're starting with six sims they are the founders almost burped there the founders of the city of muskford i did not name this after elon musk i just like a good i like a man to be musky and i was trying to think of a vaguely british name so there we go um it's like musky oxford so each founder has a different aspiration and they're each going to kind of represent these dynasties, these big families that are going to control the neighborhood. This is not an element that's uh, typically present within back challenges, but I just thought I'd add my own little spin to it, you know, because I have to make everything needlessly complicated. Okay, the heir of each family takes on the family aspiration, so kind of like a legacy challenge. It's kind of like a legacy challenge build a city challenge hybrid. So the heir of each family will take on the main aspiration and I'll probably randomize the other ones and they have to continue the legacy, right? So I've kind of got like an overarching goal, an overarching goal, you might also say, for each family. So the family family, that's a fun phrase, their, their main goal is to have an heir who lives eternally from the milk of a cow plant that has been fed romance sims. Because just as in all modern supernatural horror media, vampires and werewolves are enemies, in The Sims 2, family sims and romance sims are sworn enemies. Family sims are like sluts, but for pregnancy. The Fortune family, their goal is to own a sprawling business empire with shops to cover all needs and open up a shopping district. So like a subhood, like, um, what's it called? Blue Water Village, that one. The Knowledge family, their overarching goal is, uh, I'm seriously like, is it overarching or is it overarching? Let me know in the comments. Uh, to fund a local university, because again, in this challenge, they have to build the university using tax money, but also the families can donate to the state. Um, and, and they need to have heirs of all supernatural persuasions. What does that mean? That means they need to have a vampire heir, a werewolf heir, a zombie heir, an alien heir. They need to build a servo. They need to steal Bigfoot. They need to bring Bigfoot back from... I don't play Bon Voyage usually. They need to seduce Bigfoot. Oh, mama, I could seduce a Bigfoot if you know what I mean. <gasps> um, and there's some other one. Oh, Plant Sims. Oh, who likes Plant Sims? Plant Sims are so lame. But anyway, the popularity dynasty, their goal is to create fun places for the community to use at a cost. So basically, they, they're also going to run all the businesses, but they're going to be like cafes, restaurants, bowling alleys, I don't know why I'm doing such like swishy hands, but yeah. 
you can kind of tell which aspirations I like and which I absolutely hate from the way I describe them. Pleasure Sims. I honestly was considering like not giving them a goal because I'm like, pleasure is just such a bad aspiration. Like, what do you do with that? And then I remembered that Bon Voyage exists, my least favorite expansion. So I was like, I'll give my least favorite expansion pack to my least favorite aspiration. So their goal is to fund an airport for the Bon Voyage destinations, because that is another thing that has to be funded in this challenge. And um, they need to have a holiday home in each of the three resorts and have one of their heirs collect all the mementos. By the way, there, I if you're watching this on YouTube, I've put the link to the rules in the description. <coughs> Theatrical burp, okay. Romance Dynasty. Their goal is to create a polyamorous commune of exclusively romance sims with 15 sims all in love with each other at once. Each of my starters, each of my founders, my heads of dynasty, gets 2,000 simoleons to start off. I guess I'm using pound signs for simoleons. Deal with it. Um, because I like a challenge. They also start off in apartments, so that keeps things a lot easier. But also they need to start make, they need to make that money quickly or else they're gonna be Okay. The community starts off with a free park. I built the park already and I forgot to put the cemetery, so forget the cemetery part. Um, okay, so this is the really important part. Various services cannot be used until they have been unlocked by spending state money or building a specific community lot. So basically throughout the game as we play, every time my Sims pay their bills or pay their rent, I'm gonna keep a tally of that money in a spreadsheet. Yes, we're keeping spreadsheets. That's the level of sim obsession I'm on. And um, that's essentially money that goes to the state. So we're imagining this is like some kind of socialist paradise where all of the tax money goes to the state. Is that a socialist paradise? Basically all of, all of the, the rental money, all of the apartments and all of the, the rental businesses are uh, publicly owned. So every all the money that's paid to them goes to the state and that is then used to build community lots and to unlock specific services. In a bit, we'll go into the services and how they're unlocked. Aside from absolute essentials, such as, you know, the cheapest bed, basic fridge, all furniture must be purchased, purchased at businesses run by members of the neighborhood. So the last time I did it back, I had this rule and it didn't really work because a lot of the Sims didn't want to run businesses. They had lifetime wants to like get to the top of other careers. So it just kind of fell by the wayside and there were just a few Sims running businesses. That's why I've deliberately had these goals for the fortune and popularity Sims. So there's at least going to be two families who are like dedicated to running these businesses. And if that's not what their lifetime wants are, honey, I couldn't give a fuck. Okay. Community lots are unlocked either by being bought by an individual sim as a business. So what that means is if a sim wants to start a business, you know, I'll place a lot and build the business there and then they pay for it. And then that lot exists or it can be bought with tax money. But if we build a community lot with tax money, let's say we build a sports pitch that cannot be bought by sims later to be run as a business because it's owned by the state. A lot of these rules are pretty flexible, to be honest. Honestly, like, it's really just playing how I feel. But so far, I've been in really enjoying playing this way. So uh, taxes are collected from Sims bills, money spent at state-owned shops. So the only exception to this rule about purchasing from members of the neighbors neighborhood is that they start off... I forgot this, actually. The community starts with a fruit park and supermarket. They can't order groceries or delivery at the beginning. That's something that has to be unlocked later on. Okay, they can give voluntary contributions. So they can donate to the state and then it gets like a 10% raise. This is not realistic, but it's just an incentive for really rich Sims to give back to the state. Can you imagine if that existed in real life? If like millionaires and billionaires had an incentive to fund public projects apart from just like tax evasion. Wow, what a world that would be. Okay, businesses or houses that are purchased a second time, for example, a whole family dies, it's the Sims, it could happen, and the state gets the money from the next family who moves in. That's right, there is no property inheritance. Communism, baby. Again, this might be a bit flexible. If there's a Sim I really like and it's like, 
They do deserve that house. <laughs> Problematic communism. Ah. The state isn't just taking money, it's also giving it back to incentivize these bitches to procreate. The state will give 5,000 simoleons for the first baby in a family, plus 3,000? 3, Am I from fucking... Am I from fucking Essex? I think the fuck not. 3,000 simoleons for each additional baby after the first. And richer families can even choose not to receive this. How delightful. If a family bloodline dies out, as in if any of these dynasties die out, then the challenge is failed. Somehow I think that's kind of like unlikely because it's communism, baby. P private school just shouldn't exist. But I guess it can exist, but it's going to be really, really expensive to, to show that private school is shit. Because it's insane in The Sims 2 that they like don't pay for private school. Girl. Or they pay like a tiny amount if you get a mod. No. Private school is expensive, mama. So for each life stage of a child slash teen being sent, a family pays 50,000. So if they send a child and the child stays at private school through their child and teen years, then the family pays 100,000 simoleons. Again, this is really high, but I just like, I feel like it's nice at the beginning of the game if all the families are sending their kids to the state schools. And then, you know, once wealth has accumulated and we've strayed from the path of pure communism and um, everyone's like an evil capitalist, then they can send their kids to private school. That would be like the vibe, yeah? So these are all of the things that have to be unlocked. Some things you require, we, I, will require a community. I'm God in this world. I am I am the state. This is just all some sick power fantasy on my part. Because normally when you play The Sims, you're just God. You're just controlling their lives. But you know who's more powerful than God? The state. And I'm gonna be the state. Oh my God. Am I a communist dictator? Oh my God. Oh. Stalin, more like Stanning. Okay, so for these things, using tax money, we're gonna have to build community lots. Now, a lot of these lots are not gonna be functional. For example, fire stations and police stations. Those are not functional in The Sims 2, but it's really cute when you have a Sims 2 neighborhood and you're like, here's the fire station, here's the police station, a cab. But not my cops, because my cops are different. My cops are like sweet sensitive. Maybe I'll, maybe the rule will be like, you're only allowed to be a cop if you're like a femme bottom. And then there'll be no police brutality. Honey, police brutality is when I break a nail trying to catch a criminal. Oh. Okay, in order to hire the nannies, the nannies, the, oh, the nannies, I have to build a daycare center. Probably won't happen for a very long time because nannies are shit. Pet adoption. I need to build a pet shop before my sims can adopt pets. Before my sims can hire bartenders, there needs to be a bar. I think the uh, the popularity sims will hop right on that. Before sims can order Chinese or pizza delivery, they have to build a takeaway restaurant. Some of these actually, I guess they can be like a community, like a state-owned bar and a state-owned takeaway restaurant. Citizen, support your local state-owned Chinese restaurant. Thank you. But there can also be sim-run ones. You know, before Sims are allowed to change haircuts and makeup, we have to build a state-owned salon. Uh, as I'm reading this out, I'm realizing these rules are fucking unhinged. The way I did this before was like, if a Sim ages up to a teenager or an adult and they just have dog shit hair, like the worst hair, they're allowed like one change, but essentially they're not allowed to change their hair all the time because they aren't trained friseurs. They aren't trained hairdressers. We need a state-owned salon. In my communist state, nobody is allowed to cut their own hair because, honey. Okay, uh, Sims cannot get piercings until we build a piercer or a jeweler. Same with tattoos. I have a mod that allows them to apply tattoos, but there are like two tattoo options. So there are some things that just have to be unlocked by paying money. So we have to pay 5,000 simoleons to be able to use phones. In order to be able to use computers and internet and television, they have to pay 10,000 simoleons. So like at the beginning, they have to entertain, there's no TV to entertain themselves. Mama, they're just playing red hands. 
red hands nonstop. To be able to use the mobile phones, they have to pay 15,000 simoleons. And then of course they have to buy a mobile phone. And then the going on vacation, I put it as like 50,000 simoleons, which is, I guess, the price of building an airport. It's probably way more expensive. I'm not actually going to build an airport because... I'm not that kind of Sims 2 builder. I'm not going to like ooky spooky, you know, bull prop, uh, allow uneven floor height, enable true to make some aeroplane. No, that, that sounds like a lot of effort. Maybe when I was 14, I would have tried that, but not now. And then finally, in order to use the matchmaking service, there has to be at least one playable sim who maxes out the paranormal career. Because I just think that's a bit fun. In order to unlock the university, they have to build, and this is going to be funded by the fortune sims, I'm guessing, a basic set of dorms, uh, functional. A set of classrooms, obviously not functional because they don't go to class in sim. Well, you don't see them go to class in Sims 2 University. I do give Sims tuition fees. I have Saijon's bigger bills as one of my difficulty mods and the bills, oh honey, they're big. Honey, they're big, juicy, stiff, hard bills. Ugh. So um, it's only fair, you know? So I believe with the level I have, they'll pay 4,000 in tuition fees over their degree, but that doesn't include bills, I think. Something like that. Anyway, so um, the state will fund students tuition fees and give them a small stipend, depending on what dorm they opt for. So if they go for the opulent luxury dorm, they don't get as much money from the state. Again, this is like, imagine if universities actually work like this. Can you see that? It's Freddy from iCarly sitting in front of a massive bowl of salad and on the bowl of salad is written incest. There's that thing that RuPaul now does on Drag Race a lot where she goes, let's go. Like there'll be like a beginning of a season. She's like, let's go. It's the way she says let's go with such gravitas that just gets me, tickles me. <laughs> also the way she goes, <laughs> is also very iconic. To build a new dormitory, a new classroom or community area of equivalent size must be built, blah, 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 something like that. It's gonna be five bands of dorms um, and the students get bursaries based on which dorm band they're in. As you can see here, there's a 1,200 simoleon difference between each band, unless I have completely forgotten the mathematics, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's just quickly go through which mods I'm using. <laughs> Dick hard. No inheritance. So these are mods to increase the difficulty because The Sims 2 is too easy. No inheritance after Elder dies. The inheritance just normally comes out of nowhere. I mean, qua. Um, some increased challenge mods by Sim Modder. Business levels. Businesses, you have to get more stars for the first five levels. The junk car is harder to repair. It's based on mechanical skill. It takes twice as long. More dangerous fire. I mean, that pretty much speaks for itself. Snapdragon hack. It doesn't fulfill hunger and bladder needs anymore. It only fills up needs two thirds full. It costs twice as much to make and three times as long but it can be sold for twice the original price. Of course, I'm using loads of Cy John mod, Cy John's mods, bigger bills, because you get so much money in this game, but this one actually makes it pretty challenging. This one alone, if you just want to make The Sims 2 more challenging, slap some bigger bills on there and you, oof, your Sims will be poor, honey. Because the amount of bills, when it, it varies based on the value of your furniture, but also how much money you have in the bank. So as soon as they hit, 10,000 simoleons, like the bills get more expensive. When you hit like 20,000, like it gets more and more expensive. So like, I think it's like, if you go to Pleasant View on an unplayed game with this bigger bills mod on the default setting and you go to the Goths house, their first bill is like 15,000 simoleons or something insane. Cheaper restaurant guides, never written restaurant guides in Sims. I think it's a free time thing, but apparently they they pay way too much. Servos skill more slowly because servos are kind of broken. Variable bookcases. I was doing this because of this sti uh, stipend, this stipulation I have about only being able to buy furniture that's actually being sold in the community. Basically, just as like more expensive beds fulfill their energy and comfort needs more, uh, better bookcases will let them build skills more quickly and vice versa. 
the mayor's promotion chance with this mod the chance is reduced to 75 percent if it's too easy i can reduce it to 50 percent and then realistic sick sickness which makes the sickness more deadly it's quite fun I use a body hair controller to let my male sims have some fur because Maxis just loves to twink. They love twinks. They just love twinks. They're obsessed with twinks. And all of the Sims fan community is obsessed with twinks. You see, you go to any custom content page and they've got like this like porcelain skin, like plaster scene with their eyes like, uh, and they're looking at the camera like, doing like a custom pose box and they're perfectly hairless and I hate that shit. Give me some big hairy boys. Chris Hatch's community time mod, autonomous casual romance. Sim's gonna be fucking left, right and center. The reproductive capabilities can figure out. All Sims should get pregnant. None of this, oh men can't get pregnant thing. Oh aliens only wanna impregnate women. All my Sims can get pregnant through any means. And to make it even more fun, I have quiet pregnancy installed, which means I don't get the little jingle that lets you know when a sim is pregnant. So uh, there's also, you know, a small chance of like risky, uh, just a pregnancy risk, like a 5% pregnancy risk with ACR. So it's gonna be a lot of shenanigans. I sometimes use macrotastics just to like make cleaning simpler in a big household. And so much more, I have so many more mods. Oh my God, this, has already taken so long to get through. So I'm just gonna show you my spreadsheet and then we can actually play the fucking game. How about that? This is the uh, the main part of the spreadsheet. This is where I track everything. So we have Ember Kane, who is the founder of the Family Dynasty. We have Ricardo Turing, who is the founder of the Knowledge Dynasty. We have Harry Casanova, the founder of the Romance Dynasty. Dara Epicurus, the founder of the Pleasure Dynasty. That would be a sick name for a disco group. Pleasure Dynasty. That sounds great. Richard Gatsby. Yes, I did name one sim Richard and one sim Ricardo. I am stupid. And finally, Jacqueline Monroe. I love that name, Jacqueline. That would be a good drag name. Jacqueline Monroe. Isn't that a cute name? Uh, is the founder of the um, popularity dynasty which sounds like some mlm marketing scheme i usually just fill this in after a play session or when i switch through but basically this is to track like i'm gonna play this house this sim for seven sim days and then when i finish i can write down what time it was when i left and all that stuff um how much money they had I can add other members to the family to like keep track of who's dating who. This is really there for when the Sims are screwing like bunnies and having babies left, right and center, then I'll be able to add them all here and not get super confused. I also, this is the really important thing. This is where I keep track of the taxes. So I can keep track of how many uh, bills they paid and such. And so how much money is in the community pot. And then I can you know, spend it on things like a good little communist dictator build a gulag here build a gulag there no no gulags here the only thing privatized in my, my town muskford is gulags privatized gulags oh grim i also keep track of all the buildings and stuff i have all the things that they i want them to build like gyms and public baths and other such delightful thing and then these are all the things that can be unlocked so like priority number one is fire uh fire not not setting them on fire they can do that themselves uh but until they unlock this and we build a fire station they're not gonna have fire alarms so <laughs> good luck enough blabbing enough chatting enough gabbing and gobbing it's time to actually play so we're gonna start with the family dynasty so here we can see the beautiful town of muskford as you can see i've decorated a bit there's a monorail there's a cute little farm Ooh, just a little power plant Ooh, just a bit of nuclear energy there's all a hidden will right statue Shh. he's watching you that's the privatized gulag that's where it's going to be inside his cranium i hate how neighborhoods are usually designed in this game where all the lots are really spread out i cannot stand that unfortunately i try to put them like literally cheek by jowl i love that phrase but um this game is weird like so i was trying to put lots in 
and sometimes it just won't let you watch it let me put a lot in every single position are you kidding me the last time i tried this it was not are you kidding me it wasn't letting me put lots in loads of the positions and now it is are you actually are you having a laugh well last time i did it wasn't allowing me to put are you actually what I'm so confused. The last time I played, it was not letting me place a bunch of lots for some reason. It was like, even though the, the, the land was perfectly even. So what I did is I had gaps between them and then I just used some of these neighborhood decorations to add some paths and trees. To be honest, I think this is still kind of stunning. And I love the idea of like, obviously it's not functional, but like having like, a bit like Echamplas in Barcelona. They have these blocks with like lots of, where there's just a, like a car road around the outside, but then there's lots of pedestrian, paths crisscrossing it. So we have two identical apartment complexes. <laughs> I built an apartment complex with six rooms, forgetting that you could only have four playable families in an apartment complex in The Sims 2. So I just put two next to each other, which is fine. We have the find your foods. Find your foods. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Where are the foods? Where's my haggis? What is this on my desk? Some dirty little shit there. Some dirty little shit on my desk. I can't eat that. That's not that's that sniff food. Okay, so that's the state-owned grocery shop, and then we have the Founders Park, which uh, we'll we'll send a sim there in a bit. But doesn't it look delightful? Oh my god, the little bus stops! I put so much effort into making this cute, and let's ruin it by playing these horrible people. Okay, let's just get right into it. I keep saying that, and then take it ages to actually play. I just I just have the gift of the gab and when I say I have the gift of the gab what I mean is I never shut the fuck up this is the founder of the family dynasty and as you can see she's all she's she is a Karen mama she is a Karen she's called Ember but deep down you know she's a Karen we literally opened up to pure rage she literally was just complaining to the landlord I mean we stand this like anti-capitalist Karen. So this is the apartment complex. Is this actually not a really cute apartment? Like, sorry, can we just take a moment? Like, it's been probably about four hours yesterday building this apartment complex. Look at the cute. Oh, it's not showing furniture there because it's an another person's apartment, but there is a table on each of them. I didn't realize that happened if you put out patio furniture because it like hides all the furniture in other sons' apartments. How funny. And they can like say hello to the people on the other balcony and throw shit at them. You remember lockdown when everyone was like dancing on the balcony? <clears throat> Pepperidge Farm remembers. So yeah, they have these like beautiful, like airy buildings, like all of the, I love these windows. These are custom content, but it's based on Max's content. They have these like really cute, like stairways, which are probably like, would be horrible in real life, but they look cute. Look at the cute, like Neapolitan ice cream colors. They have this really cute courtyard with like a fountain. And then at the back, they have just like a little, a little garden area with like a barbecue and a, chessboard i really pop it to my pussy building these apartments to be perfectly honest the goal is that if they want to they can stay in these apartments for quite a long time because they've got what they've got a double bedroom each and they've got like a baby room but you could also use this as a child's room you could move this to the side have a crib in the bedroom and then have this be like a child's room you could have like three children in here it would be a squeeze but it's definitely possible the living room looks a bit grim to be honest because there's lots of space and the kitchen the kitchen is it's definitely a british style kitchen by which i mean it's pokey it's it's not like all like spacious and lavish originally i was gonna have like an archway going from the kitchen into the dining room. But then I just realized like, this is gonna take up so much space if I have a massive kitchen and like, they need to have room for like crafting objects and stuff like that if they decide to go down that route. The thing I hate about apartment life is how it like tries to make landlords seem good. It's like landlords come every day and garden and clean and take out the trash. And I'm like, what, what world are these people living in? That's not, that's not what landlords are like. And then you can sleep with your landlords to get cheaper rent. And I'm pretty sure in real life, it does not work that way. Her lifetime want is to have six grandchildren. Well, given that she is the owner of a dynasty, that's a good one. Oh my God, why are you bragging? 
I'm a landlord. I own your fucking house. Isn't that cool? Fuck off, dude. Okay, so thank God she doesn't have like a, a lifetime one about getting a job. She wants to fall in love. Aww. Um, I can get her whatever job. So let's just get the highest paying job. She's gonna have to go for the science career. She's gonna be a science mom. So normally when I play The Sims, I like micromanage the fuck out of it. Ooh, she could go to work today, but she ain't gonna. She's gonna study cooking so she doesn't burn the house down because she's a good mom. So yeah, normally when I play this game, I'm super micromanagey and I'm like trying to do a billion things at once. My goal with this playthrough <laughs> is to chill out a bit. Mainly because The Sims 2 is a game that like, I don't play that often and when I do play it, I just like hyper-focus on it and play like hours and hours of it for a week or two and then I'll like stop. So don't expect any um regularity with this series. But uh, I want it to be a relaxing thing because I play The Sims 2 to relax. And if I'm like, <laughs> when I'm trying to stream, because playing a game and talking at the same time surprisingly difficult. It's just not gonna be fun. So I'm just gonna try and relax. Oh, I should probably like have her talk to her neighbors. Well, she needs to pee first. Okay. Um, go do that. Why are you going, we're who? So this is um, Richard Gatsby. Don't walk away. So Richard is the founder of, are they about to have sex? I'm so used to playing with autonomous casual romance and sometimes when two sims sit on a sofa it's because they're about to have sex on the sofa. <laughs> so whenever two sims sit on a sofa I'm like, they got gonna fuck! Uh, not in this case though. So he is the founder of the Fortune Dynasty. The idea is kind of like one of those Silicon Valley people who's like, um, oh, I, I don't care about my appearance. I'm just a gross nerd, but also I'm a billionaire. So like, haha, you can make fun of how I appear, but I could crush you like an ant if I so chose to. And this is Harry Casanova, who is the founder of the Romance Dynasty. As you can see, I made him like a, I gave him a Chad chin. He's honestly hot. Um, and I thought it'd be really fun if the romance founder and the family founder lived opposite each other because they are enemies. These aspirations are enemies. Um, so I thought that would just create a bit of drama. Okay, let's get the casual romance adjuster. This is just to make everyone be sluts. Turn off teen adult interactions because that's creepy and I don't know why it's enabled by default. Teen woohoo is okay if they're, as long as they're doing it with each other. Yeah, teen adult woohoo, no, no. Je refuse. Why is like the Sims 2 simming community obsessed with teenagers having sex with adults? And teen pregnancy. They are obsessed. They are so obsessed with teen pregnancy, it's weird. Okay, auto gender preference. We want one third of the neighborhood to be gay, one third of the neighborhood to be bi, and one third of the neighborhood to be straight. <laughs> I forgot what it was for a second. That's what call what we call what? Equality, honey. And she's fully bisexual. Okay, come on. Why don't we scope the room and see if anyone's uh, you know, catching her eye. Sinjin is hot. Uh, to each their own. To each their own. Oh, oh, well, they are already getting it on. However, they are from different dynasties. They're the founders of different dynasties. So, I knew they were gonna have sex. And see? Look at them! Come on, come on, Mr. Slutty Harry. Unfortunately, they can't get married because they are founders of different dynasties and that's not allowed. Well, why don't you play chess with Sinjin as a way to make friends? Oh, rude. Would you care to join? Oh my God, they are really going at it, these two. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> This is why I like playing with autonomous casual romance because Sims just be, you go to a community lot and you just keep getting the first kiss cinematic. Everyone is just screwing and banging and kissing and having a gay old time. And then I love playing with apartments as well because Sims just be having all these friendships and romances forming just while you're literally just chilling out, it's great. So yeah, we have three of the founders in one block of apartments and three in the other block of apartments. It's gonna be a lot of fun. He was just looking at his crotch, wasn't he? Oh. I hate that animation, the suck face animation. I mean, it's fine for teens, but it's like, 
They were just being real suave, and now they're like, mm, 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 kissing each other like horny pigeons. I don't think so. Red beak in a silver dress. I don't think. Meanwhile, she's trying to like study chess. Roberto, is he the, yeah, he's our other neighbor. Okay, yeah, she needs to eat. I can sell his painting. But yeah, this clearly isn't supposed to be in a community area in terms of the game design because I can sell his painting. This game really is so American sometimes. It's like sharing property. I don't fucking think so, you dumb communist. What are you, a gay communist? Yes. Yes, I am, Will Wright. Do you have a problem with it? Oh, this kitchen is so ugly. <laughs> I kind of love building The Sims 2, and part of what I love is just like making the ugliest things. Like, look at this ugly ass bathroom. Look at this light baby blue lemon rubber tree ass bathroom. I love how ugly it is. And she's just there eating her disgusting food. I full on forgot to add a sink to the kitchen. I just realized. Oops. I mean, does she need another sink? I felt kind of bad for her because she was like really trying to hit it off with that guy and then literally, is she gonna have to have a second dinner? She was so hungry, why is she so hungry? She wants to get a roommate. I guess I could get a roommate. Except there's no bed for them. I guess they could sleep in the baby room. No, I don't think roommates are allowed. I, 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 that just sounds a bit, the roommate could live in the living room. <laughs> How scabby would that be? Oh, look at her with her little nighty. See, there's some okay Max's content in this game. The problem with this game is like, when you have just one sim, it's, it's way too easy to get into that play style of just like focusing on, um, get a job, job, get a job learn a skill and then like they never get married at least that's what happens to me i always forget to like pursue my sims happiness or whatever oh it's autumn autumn is my favorite season in this game because i love skilling <laughs> i literally i just love knowledge sims because all they want to do is learn skills and like that's all i want to do with my sims so. hey you're not you're not the landlord the landlord fully changed into an old man overnight. That's really weird. Go say hi. Can I greet? I can, I can give him a high five. And then get on the way to my, oh. <laughs> uh, you might have maybe put on your clothes next time, but okay. Oh, they're supposed to be enemies. Fuck. Ooh, I love, I love the punk outfits. I, ooh. He is, that is a. <laughs> A punk outfit with a chipmunk face. Oh, th they're at it again. Having the love and the kiss. Love and kisses. I might get her to look for a new job when she gets home. Oh, this is so sad. She wants a hug, but there's literally nobody to hug her. <laughs> Family sims are a plague. Oh, <laughs> now romance sims, they know how to have fun. Okay, why is she so smelly? I feel like her needs are going down so fast. She should have a bubble bath. She's had a, a tough day of being a test subject. So what better way to rest in the coop away than a nice little bubble bath? And now she can play chess with her wannabe husband, Sinjin. Isn't that the name of a pirate or something? Oh, I could ask him to be my roommate. Oh, he's got a serious case of chest hand. Sinjin, you a left-handed masturbator by any chance? That's another thing that's so unrealistic about the apartment life expansion, is your sims pretty much always roll a want to get a roommate. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Nobody wants a roommate <laughs> in real life. We want our fucking privacy. We want to be able to afford to buy a house. Okay, let's just make a pass at him before she goes to bed and see how he reacts. She's like, I've courted him. I played two games of chess and now it's time to make my move. I'm, ooh. Oh, he's going home before she can flirt with him. Oh my God. Oh, it feels very peaceful. Sometimes this is just my favorite part of playing. It's like they've got a new life. They're just like settling in, finding love. Does she seriously not know how to make pancakes yet? Oh, she, but she knows how to make her bed. She knows how to make me pissed off. I was never sure the toaster pastry in this game is, I used to think it was supposed to be toast, 
but I think it's supposed to be a pop tart, but it's like a non-brand name version for a pop tart. I wish they had toast in this game because like the idea that all these Sims are eating pop tarts is it's just making me kind of uncomfortable. The food in this game is honestly weirdly dated. Like obviously they just have random stuff like baked Alaska that nobody eats. Like it was dated at the time. But then there's also just meals that just like feel very, I guess just very American. We need to figure out what her hobby is, what her like destined hobby is or whatever. Read a mystery novel, maybe that will enlighten us. I love it when they open a book and they're like, wow. And that's, oh, and he's putting that in there. Wow. I'm still on the fence about whether I actually like free time as an expansion pack. Because when you're trying to figure out what their hobby is, you just spend a lot of time just like doing this crap. Like plinky plonky, you know. There we go. Go to work. Oh, what is his job? I think I recognize that job outfit, but I don't remember what the career is. Oh, he's a journalist. Ooh. Does that mean he's, you know, sugar mama popping bubbles? I hope so, because that means she'll marry into wealth. Okay, here we go, fucking chance card. Having grown nearly immune to the electroshock stimulus, the e oh, she's, oh honey, she's doing some real kinky shit. The ESP research team is finally convinced that Ember has absolutely no psychic powers whatsoever. So she's been moved on to the theoretical color research division, where her first test involves nothing more than sitting in a sterile test room. It won't be sterile when I'm done with it, love. Selecting one of two colored lengths of licorice and ingesting it. Should Ember eat the red licorice or the blue licorice? I've never seen blue licorice. So that sounds suspicious. Okay, Amber surveys the brightly lit testing room, noting the oddly shaped glass table, strangely reminiscent of dental equipment. Lost in thought, a soft voice comes on over the crackling loudspeaker, reminding Amber that the choice is simple, the red licorice or the blue licorice. Amber turns a blank stare to the one-way mirror picks up the red licorice and tosses it into her mouth. A few seconds pass, and there's still no answer from the scientists behind the mirror. Amber gets up to leave, but the wool speaker hums to life and informs her that she's made the wrong decision and will no longer be needed in the experiment. Amber's lost her job. Fucking grim. <laughs> oh well. Go find another job, I guess. The chance cards in this game are fucking ridiculous. Does she not even get paid for the day? Not the sad family sim being like, oh. Yeah, it's raining. That is literally like in a film when something sad happens and they start, it starts raining. Oh my God, she's new. She's new in the mood to find a job. Okay. Oh my God, and her boyfriend's gone. Oh my god, it's raining. Oh, everything is sad. Why don't you have a grilled cheese sandwich? And maybe make a sandwich and that'll shut you up, huh? Go, go play chess with Harry. Oh my god, she's in too bad a mood to, mood to play chess. There's your boyfriend. Oh, that's not your boyfriend. Well, go greet him anyway. He might be cute. Who knows? Oh, do you know him? Oh, okay, he's hot. Why don't you... Um, flirt with him. Moody little bitch. <gasps> no, she got rejected. She's having the worst day ever. Oh my God. Oh, that's Sinjin? Wait, why is, oh, why is his, wait, what happened to his face? That's not his face. Are there two Sinjins? Okay, what the actual fuck is going on? That is not Sinjin. This is Sinjin. Are there two Sinjins? Who is this person? Did he lose his job? What the fuck is going on? No, there's si There are two Sinjins. There's Sinjin Howovitz and Sinjin Livingston. What are the actual chances? Okay. That's weird. Okay, go flirt with your future husband, Diva. Go give him some sweet talk. 
Oh my god, her boyfriend is blanking her! Oh, she's gonna sit down and be sad. Uh, I didn't invite you into my house, dude. I'm pretty sure this door is locked. Yeah. <laughs> Dance instructor? I don't think so, she doesn't have a stereo. Slacker? No. Ooh, intelligence career. She's very clever. Okay, and she's got the logic skills. Everything's looking up roses. Why don't you go play, see if Sinjin will play with you now. Get out of my house. You don't, get, piss off. Who is this guy? God, you say hello to someone and they walk into your house and use your toilet. I'm right here, use me as a toilet. Oh my god, oh my god, he's literally standing in front of her and being like, Harry's really hot. I think now is the time to put the moves on him. Because last night she didn't get a chance. Oh, he rejected her as well! Oh my god! She's a fucking femme cell! <laughs> and then this guy is literally all over her. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, he likes her. Okay. What's your job? How much money do you have? He's a clam wrangler! <laughs> Never mind, that's not husband material. <laughs> what is going on? Every time I play The Sims, I'm like, this is just going to be a boring... It's going to... This is the one time I play The Sims and it's going to be really boring. And it, ne it never disappoints. It never disappoints. He's a clam wrangler! A clam wrangler! Let's read her job description. Gumshoe. Not much more than an assistant to a low-level detective. You'll often just be taking orders and jotting down notes. Prove your worth doing the menial tasks and show your quick thinking to move up in the organization. This is actually giving me such great vibes. It's like, she's the super mom. She's like a mom, but she's also a spy. Oh my God, and she disguises herself as a Karen, but actually she's a spy. I hate it when Sims exert free will, but also I don't like turning free will off because I'm perpetually worried I'll forget about them and they're like, oh, you could have cleaned that up, whatever. Okay, let's look at her outfit. That's the only important thing for my Sims is the outfits. That's actually, uh, for a Maxis outfit and a career outfit, it's not too bad. Bills on the floor, bills in the air, bill over. Yes, more gay action. Everyone is getting some action apart from my son. See? And he's just playing chess. He's sitting there like, everyone's being gay. The polyamorous commune is basically this apartment building. Oh, the company is having a barbecue lunch and they're looking for employees to help. Should Ember volunteer to help cook the burgers or serve the salad? You look at her face. That is the face of someone who makes fruit pizza. Watermelon fruit pizza. So let's get us get her to serve a salad. Amber would rather help people eat healthy, and so goes for the salad station. Having prepared many salads outside of work, Amber is not only able to dutifully serve the salad, but also create new combinations and give recommendations for dressings that make her station the talk of the barbecue. Everyone is impressed, and Ember gains some cuisine enthusiasm. How riveting. So the career chance cards are like, Amber tripped up on the way to work, ate shit, and lost her job. And then the hobby chance cards like, Amber made a cute picture, oh my god, and everyone loved it. So in the community tax fund, we have 555 shimoleons. Ooh, diva. Come on. Literally everyone else is like getting on and like having fun, like making out and she's just... You can join them. Join. Join the kicky bag. Look at her making friends. I never thought like they would be the ones making this fun little commune and she'd be the outcast. I really thought it'd be going the other way around. It's quite funny. This is like normie oppression. Oh my god, the two Zinjins live opposite each other as well. That's so funny. Why don't you serve some food? 
She wants to serve food. Oh, it's now. It's time for you to go to bed. She's got work tomorrow. This is what I mean. I'm just like, she's spending the whole time just going to work, learning skills, getting rejected. On Saturday, I'll send her, send her down to the park. She can find a husband or a wife at the park. She wants to serve food. So like, whatever, let's make some food and people can eat it if they want to. Make hot dogs. Why not? Can you imagine coming out at like 8 a.m. and there's just a bunch of hot dogs waiting for you and there's this like desperate woman who nobody in the apartment building likes? It's like, where did they go? <laughs> oh my God, she can't even serve food. It literally disappeared. Where did the hot dogs go? Oh my God, her life is just, she is just having the most miserable time. Anyway, the first time I did a back, I was trying to do this like thing where they had an apartment building where they shared facilities like bathrooms and kitchens. And then the apartment was literally just like a bedroom and stuff like that. Um, it didn't work because the game is not really programmed to work like that. So they never showered. They like wait until they were really stinky to shower. They kept pissing themselves. They never fed themselves properly. So they were always in a really bad mood. So they were always fighting. So it became this like, for a lack of a better term, it just became this ghetto where like all of the founders hated each other. Like they hated their guts. They hated everyone else in the apartment building. And they were constantly getting into fights. It's like your sim would go to work and there'd be like two people, like four people fighting outside. Um, and they all had horrible reputations within the community because of it. It was really funny. It honestly felt like a, a very accidental social experiment. I was like, this won't be as chaotic as that time, but it's, Surprisingly pretty, still pretty chaotic, actually. Nobody really likes her. And she's coming out in the morning, making hot dogs, disappearing them like rabbits shoved into a magician's hat, playing chess in her underwear. Sorry, her nighty. Oh my God, every time I build an apartment, they complain they can't get inside. And I just don't understand what the problem is. Like, can you not root yourself into your own house? I need to replace that hairstyle because that hairstyle, is just horrendous, I hate it. Why don't you flirt with her though? Ooh. Do you like what you see? Is your blood sugar low? Who's in love? Oh, those two. No, oh, that's hardly a surprise, isn't it? Oh, she likes her because she's blonde, okay. Okay. This could actually work. Oh, she's autonomously, okay. Oh, okay, they're networking. Oh, okay, she's setting up on a blind date. With a fucking delivery man. <laughs> I mean... Okay. Now, can you come inside her house? She's like, for dinner, I'm gonna cook you a nice steak dinner. Except it's probably gonna be spaghetti. Okay, now that they're inside, they can gossip about these fake bitches. Did you hear that our landlord aged... 50 years in one day, entertain him, tell him a joke. Tell him a joke. Oh, he's he is literally like, oh my God, y'all are obsessed with this chessboard. Oh, do you want to play with him? You want to play red hands? You want to, they want to see you work it out. They want to see you break, they want to, they want to see you go off. I was trying to get red hands into the rhythm, it didn't work. You know, I'm a business owner, give them this for their one. Normally dates are too easy, so I'm going to play the what, like, I guess my rule is I have to ask what they want. <laughs> hey, what do you want to do? I want to be tickled by you. I would like you to tickle me. I didn't want to say it, but now that you've asked, please tickle me. He's a freak. He is a disgusting freak. So that is exactly her type. So let's just ask the normal questions you ask on a date. What are your skills? How much money do you have? What's your job? What turns you on? <laughs> What do you want? What do you fear? Can you imagine if someone on a date was like, what do you fear? Oh my God, he's really skilled. Oh, he's poor though. A diamond in the rough, perhaps. I mean, with those skills, unemployed. I'm dressed as a delivery man, but I'm actually unemployed. Also, I am an autistic savant. Uh, please, please tickle me. Please have a pillow fight with me. I would very much like that. 
It would be very jolly for him. Kiss his hand since he since he wants to be a weird little prince. Oh, you want to be flirted with? Oh, you want me to sweet talk you? You want me to tuck you into bed? You want me to kiss you? You want me to tickle you? Oh, I love this is one of my favorite interactions in the game. It's so it's just so cute. Oh, she is she is getting on the floor. She is a pig. No, I'm joking. She is getting weirdly close to us though. I'm not gonna lie. Hold hands. <laughs> Bitch, I will kiss you, but holding hands, that is too much. Get away from me, you disgusting freak. This guy is perfect for her. I literally, I swear to God, I always am giving everyone back rubs. And nobody ever, ever gives me a massage. I've had people say to me in the past several months, oh, do you want a back rub? Do you want a massage? And I'm like, yeah. And then they like just do this or they just don't give it to me. And I'm like, to be fair, I guess it is like kind of intimate to caress someone's face. Sorry, just the way she shook her butt was kind of mesmerizing. Oh, it's a dream date. Now, I believe is the moment where they go and have sex. Nothing says a dream date like woohoo. Although maybe she doesn't, maybe she's not that kind of girl. She's not that kind of girl. Just a little make out in the door of the bathroom. She hasn't quite fallen in love yet, but she's getting there. She's getting there. They're besties. She's like, she's like, I'll wait until the second date to fall in love. <laughs> I was going to say relatable, but honestly, I usually don't even wear that long. I'm insane. Oh, she has the day off. She, she has the day off. They want to see you go off. Oh, here we go. More kissing. Oh my God, everyone is kissing each other. Oh, look. Diva, you got some flowers. I never knew two sims like us could share such happy hours. Each lovely second's memory smells sweeter than these flowers. How delightful. Why don't she invite him round and cook him some lunch? How does she still not have three cooking skill points? Like at this point, it's a bit much. Oh, she can't invite him round. Because she doesn't have a telephone. <laughs> That's the problem. I haven't unlocked telephones yet. So what she'll do is she'll walk to the park. And hopefully there she'll find him. Ooh, is the landlord being a bully? Is the landlord bullying a resident? Is that what's happening? Yes! Oh my god. Okay, well. We have to get a cow plant so we can eat that landlord. Reparations. So I just want to say, is this not the cutest little park? Did I not build a really cute little park here? Like, I'm really proud of this park. Oh my God, there's a cat. I always like, oh, I can never be bothered to play with pets in this game. And then they're actually kind of cute, honestly. Who am I looking for? Stefan, his name is Stefan? Oh, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, okay, I can introduce you to the other uh, founders. Ricardo Turing is the founder of the... Um, he's the founder of the Knowledge Dynasty and he does have vampire fangs, which I accidentally put on him in Body Shop. I didn't know that was a thing. And then he's also got the glitch where he has floating blue vampire fangs. He is not a vampire yet. Jacqueline Monroe is the founder of the Popularity Dynasty. She's like the cool popular girl. Oh, and you can meet Christy Stratton, everyone's favorite townie. Christy Stratton can eat without opening her mouth. She's kind of giving athleisure princess Leia. And I don't hate that. I feel like the fashions in The Sims 2 were so bad when they came out, but like, give it five years. Oh my gosh, she's gonna network with me. Exciting. Give her five years and this will be like huge on TikTok. They'll be like, oh my God, you're, you're wrapping the Christy Stratton look? Slay. On my For You page. Oh, she's gonna get my landlord to lower the rent. Oh my God. Oh, if only that happened in real life. If only you went to the par park, ate a hot dog with athleisure Princess Leia. You know what? I like you so much. I'm gonna eat your discarded hot dog. <laughs> And then she gives you a discount on your rent. One of these pets literally has destroyed a bunch. Oh, the playground equipment is so cute. 
This, honestly, like, some of the objects they introduced with apartment life, like, this playground equipment is really fun. They put so much care and attention into The Sims 2! <laughs> Sims 2, best Sims game! Sims 2, best Sims game! Sims 2 is the best Sims game! I'm never gonna shut the fuck up about it, because it's the best one! <clears throat> oh, lesbians are making out. It's beautiful Saturday at the park. Oh my god, she's sitting next to the cat on the bench! That's so cute! I didn't know the... Pets could do that. Okay, well, a witch and a charlatan have just arrived, which I think is the perfect moment for us to leave and try and find Stefan, our man. And I can show you my beautiful supermarket. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of stopped caring when I made the supermarket, so it doesn't, oh my God, stop destroying the furniture. If that cat destroys that entire knight statue, the idea is it's like he's a knight and he's on a quest to, to find groceries. And there's a seating area. Woo! Yeah, I, I run out of ideas, is what I'm trying to say. I run out of ideas. Should she buy groceries? I'll buy like 200 Simodians worth. Oh! Oh, some straight action happening, okay. Everyone is just getting laid out by the supermarket. Kennedy Cox, his disgusting normal outfit has been replaced by a nice one. And that's why we download default replacement mods. He actually looks kind of fashionable. Unfortunately, he still has the face of Kennedy Cox. And it's raining, because an evil witch just arrived. He has... Do the wit do the evil warlocks get like bags under their eyes? Or is that just how he looks? Is it because he's old? Is he about to summon some cockroaches? He is. He spent a long time casting that spell. What you laughing at, oldie? See, this is. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is what we need in real life, is just like hanging out by a supermarket eating hot dogs that you got to make for free, and then these two started arguing. Fight, 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 fight! See, this is what I love about The Sims, is like, it's a paradise where everyone just like hangs out next to a shop in the rain and everything's chill, but also people just fight for literally no reason. What I'm trying to say is, I'm using The Sims as a way to prefigure a post-socialist utopia. But very often, it ends up prefiguring a post-socialist dystopia. Oh my god. It's like, it is literally like, muscle gays fighting at Mykonos, that's the vibes I get. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna have a little stretch after I've poked you. Come on, get into a proper fight. Okay, I think it's time for Mama to go home before she gets caught in the crossfire. Oh, he is angry. He is ready to throw hands. Oh my god, everybody hates Kennedy. <laughs> the Kennedy Cox hate brigade is outside the supermarket. What well, they are, they are outside fucking Sainsbury. They are outside, no, it's not even Sainsbury's, it's Tesco's. Kennedy Cox, the next time you walk outside of Tesco's, we're gonna beat your fucking ass. Oh, they're having a weekend gathering. This is another thing that landlords would never do in real life is buy free pizza for the people who live there and like have a little party. I'm so thrilled about the Kennedy Cox hate brigade because I don't like Kennedy Cox. Everyone talks shit about Goopy Girls Carbo, but Kennedy Cox is the real nasty bitch. They ate two slices of that pizza and left it to rot. Okay, so the next time she sees him, we have to ask him to move in because we don't know the next time we'll see him after that. It could be days. She could live an entire life. I'm really worried because he's an NPC. He just won't show up in places spontaneously. She's gonna go have a shit in a shower. Not unlike a shit in a shower on a Sunday morning. Delightful. Go to the Founders Green and try and find your man. So yeah, I guess we'll play until, um, oh, oh. Oh, took a look at these big tits. Oh. Oh, okay, I'll stop. We'll play to the end of this week. Oh, it's frozen over. I forgot that the ponds did that. Can I go ice skating? He has that hairstyle. When I used to play The Sims as a teenager, I thought this was the coolest hair ever. I was like, that is such cool hair. And now I would not be seen dead with that hair. <laughs> now, Mary Lena Hamilton 
I'm not appreciating the fact that you decided to wear a fucking medieval dress <laughs> to the park. That's a bit much. Not gonna lie, that's a bit much. Oh, but you have a cute girlfriend. Oh my god. Brandy Latona, more like Brandy Latournament because Marilina is ready to joust for her. Anyway, um, Stefan, do we see any Stefans? Oh, and there's... Oh! Oh my god! Drama! She cheated on Sandy Bruti. Oh, Sandy was like vindictive for a moment. She was like, he 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 he. I caught you, bitch. So I downloaded this like, uh, it was like bonus content that used to be on the Sims 2 website. And one of the things is this like castle kit that comes with a bunch of medieval clothes. And I guess they all decided to wear his outerwear because the game hates me. Oh. Yeah, sure, why not? That's right, she changed jobs. Thank you, John Curtin. I mean, to be fair, if I went to the park searching for my man and I found a job, I wouldn't be complaining. Oh, see, it's so cute the way they play with the monkey, but oh. That fall was a bit, uh, <laughs> it was a bit of a glide. I forgot that this sink had like a built-in toothbrush. So if you have it on a community lot, it's just like, there's a random toothbrush in a public toilet. Well, I guess it's somebody's kink. Okay, we just need to earn some skills, learn some skills, learn to clean. I always find it funny, the jobs that require you to learn how to clean real good. Oh, let's watch the snow on the roof. Ooh, was it on the roof? Yes, that's cute. She's so sad and lonely. <laughs> she lives such an depressing existence, honestly. I was gonna say relatable, but no, my life is a lot happier than hers. I can use a telephone to ring people when I want to. If we don't find him soon, I'll let him give him a ring. Oh, and the fountain freezes over in the winter. I didn't know that. Oh, okay, it's glitched, first of all. Uh, but it's got little icicles, that's so cute. I didn't know it did that. See, I'm learning new things about this game every day. Study cleaning, get on another cleaning skill point before work so that you can get a promotion. Okay, or just write in your fucking diary. Oh, she's gotta pay her rent. Jesus Christ. <laughs> her rent is basically all of the money she has. This is what I mean about the bigger bills mods. They are. <laughs> they certainly do add an element of challenge. Oh, fuck. I just realized. I have to stop playing oh. because it's been seven days. I always do this. It's supposed to stop at 9 a.m. on a Monday is when I'm supposed to end the, there we go. So it is Monday, 1440. I'll say it's the second of winter. I calculated this all before. Trust me when I say this makes sense. She has 14, 1,484 shum And we've collected in one week of playing with her. Well, to be fair, when she get, gets back from work and pays her rent, there'll be a lot more money in the tax fund. So we've collected quite a bit of taxes from her already, which is good because by the end of the first rotation, we should be able to buy them telephones. Fantastic. What a difference that will make. I kind of, I kind of want to give them telephones already. But you know what? It's a challenge. If there's no challenge in the challenge, then it's not a challenge. So I'm gonna leave it challenging. Okay, so that was the first episode of my build a city challenge. The family goal of getting cow plant is still quite a long way away. She's gonna to have to have, is she gonna be alive long enough? I might have to use aspiration rewards to be honest, to keep her alive. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you soon. Bye.